Hi, I feel kind of an urge to pray as a pattern, meaning I'm praying for myself, but I'm setting myself in my prayer as a pattern for everyone uh, to kind of pray like this. Uh, just because of the hour we're living in and because of the things I see happening and my own heart and in others. Uh, so, um, Lord, we just, I just lay myself before you. Thank you that you dwell in me. Thank you that you have purchased me with your blood. Thank you that you secured me. Oh, Lord, thank you that you will bring me to the end because I'm your purchased possession. You purchased me with blood. I just acknowledge you, even in my weakness, I acknowledge you. Lord, in my discouragement, I acknowledge you. I turn from myself. I turn from my discouragement. I turn from my thoughts and my ways and my mindset. Lord, if it's on me, I will not be able to endure and I will be offended and I will fall away if it's up to me. But I thank you that it's not up to me because you're my shepherd and you promised to keep me. Lord, thank you for your shepherding work. Thank you for your life. Thank you for resurrection. Thank you for your grace. Lord, thank you that the only thing that you value is faith in you. And I thank you that you've given me that faith. Thank you that we have received this precious faith. Thank you, Lord. Even though it's tested by fire, it's found to be more precious than gold that perishes, and it will be found abounding to praise and honor and glory at your coming, Lord. Thank you for this faith. Thank you for preserving me. Lord, I just pray that, that those who hear this and those on my channel would not be offended by date setters, would not be hardened, uh, that they would stay sensitive, Lord, to the life within them. Lord, keep us sensitive and tender-hearted. Tender-hearted towards you, Lord. Oh, Lord, you said today is the day of salvation and harden not your heart. Lord, don't let us harden our heart. Lord, so that we can be full of joy in this moment, full of peace in you. We don't know when you're coming. We know you are coming. And Lord, whether there's a contraction going on or not, we're in the delivery room. Pray you give us the rest of faith. Oh, uh, Lord, we would not be moved by those around us. We wouldn't be moved by uh, anything other than your grace in our hearts. I pray you just give us an appetite for your word and an appetite for you. Uh, to wait for you and to be patient. And Lord, I just pray a strengthening into our inner man right now. Through your spirit that dwells in us, I pray that you would just strengthen us unto all endurance and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us for a share of the allotted portion of the saints in the light. Thank you, Father, that you qualified us for the share of the allotted portion of the saints in the light. Thank you that you brought us into the light. We've been transferred out of the darkness. Darkness has no place in our heart. We're in the light, and we can enjoy Christ, who is our portion. And I pray, Father, that you would just strengthen us so that we would be full of strength to endure patiently with joy. Let our heart be settled in your joy and strength and peace let our hearts be settled in the love of christ and let christ make his home in our heart oh lord i just surrender myself to you present myself to you i confess i can do nothing i confess i have nothing i am nothing i just thank you lord that you are everything and this is what you've ordained for us to have is christ himself Thank you that you're not requiring anything from us. You're not requiring any righteousness from us, any success from us. You're not requiring anything uh, other than the faith that you've put in our hearts. It's the only qualification for us. And we thank you that you make up the difference where we lack. Lord, in every area of our life where we have lacked due to either sluggishness or not being prepared or not being fastidiousness enough or disciplined enough or virtuous enough. Lord, all the areas in our family and our households where 
people have suffered because of our lack. We pray that your grace would abound and make up for it, Lord. Thank you that you make up the difference. It just brings us to our needs and makes us acknowledge you. And you get the glory, Lord. In our failures, we give you the glory. And we thank you for making up the difference. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. And I pray everybody who hears this will have a blessed day. And uh, enjoy the Lord. Thanks.